Hello everyone, welcome back to Immortals Phoenix Rising. This one we're continuing it on, on the main mission. Gonna head on over to the right hand side of the map now, into a, an area called War Den, or War's Den, sorry. We're gonna climb this statue and scout the area like we have needed to do in the previous two regions. And uh, see where we can go from there. Now let's double check if we can make any upgrades. I don't think we can right now. I think we pretty much did everything. Oh, we might be able to do a health upgrade actually, now that I see that. Here we go, just the right amount. So, good stuff. Can we do anything else? We can't do our stamina. We have a few coins. A little bit of amber. Okay, so we might be able to do something with our potions. Maybe. We can do a little bit. Are we going to go for the health or the stamina upgrade? Pretty much not really concentrating on defense that much right now. Even though it's still fairly cheap. I think I'm going to go for the health upgrade. And with the coins, what could we do here? How many do we have? Six. You know what, I think we're going to keep those six and we're going to save up for this one. Because we're using our hammer a lot, right? And we only need four more coins and we can upgrade that to a little bit more damage and a little bit more stun. So we'll wait for that. So let's fast travel to a point on the map that gets us a little bit closer. You know what, we don't really have to, do we? We're going to pretty much get there when we fly anyway, so let's just... Let's just fly from this point here and head over in the right direction. So here we go. On our way there, there's like a chest over there, we might be able to grab that. Because it's pretty much staring at us in the face as soon as we, we cross the border here. Well, those extra few stamina bars that we've collected recently. Definitely coming in handy here. So nice. And remember, we were fairly overpowered for the last region we visited, so I don't, still don't think this is going to be too bad. The chest seems like it might be underneath, actually. So we'll take out these guys. As Phoenix enters the clearing, there was a feeling of loss in the game. Loss and war. Oh yeah, this still isn't that bad, hey. And we have so much health now, look at that. What's to be upset about? Those phrases can be lit again. They're symbols of the Trojan War. And the fires of life extinguished on the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, I tried to stay neutral in the war, you know. I had no horse in that race. Until Hera put on that magic girdle and convinced me to be Trojans all the way. Okay, so we have to light up these these things here, but it doesn't seem like there's a torch nearby. Oh, there's a torch over here. Hang on. So we could probably do it like this. Oh, you gotta do it in a certain order. I get it. There's gotta be a hint somewhere, right? Okay, so according to this, it looks like maybe I do the top right one and then the middle one, and then this left one, like first this is like one, two, three, four, maybe? Because the helmets are all facing the same way. Let's try that. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, that worked? Okay. So we just had to look at the helmets up there. That was the, uh... That was the solution. Okay, I haven't actually looked at one of these uh, liars and gone to solve it yet. Because by the time I've, I've solved the, the small one, I always forget about going to find the big one. But we'll get to that eventually. At some point when there's nothing else left to do. Alright, cool. Now, let's just head straight on over to this statue, I think. Before we get distracted with too much stuff, because, you know... In this game, there is a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Oh, a Wraith Zone again. We haven't done a Wraith Zone in this area yet, so this will be interesting. Alright, here we go. What does the Wraith in this area look like? Wraith? Wraith of Heracles. I think I'm gonna, gonna put up my Strength Potion here. Make everything a little bit easier. Oh, wow. All right, come on, mate. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. I mean, the strength potions are OP. But now it should show us where he is, right? So where's the... where's the Wraith Lair? I didn't really see where it went. Did he go over this way? Hang on, if we have a look at our map, will it show us where the bracelet is? Oh, it's over here. We probably can't see it because we have to go to the statue first. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the statue and open everything up. But that's cool, we've already discovered the wraith lair now. So if we want to, we could, uh, we could go straight to the wraith lair now. And then we don't have to worry about it at all in this sort of area. And that is already finished. Now what I'm curious is if we find a small liar and then we go to the big one to try and solve it, will it just automatically tell me the solution because we've already found it? Exceeding in strength. Or do we have to remember what it did? Strong of arm, leader of righteous men. Hear me. Shed down a I have a feeling we probably have to try and remember. And strength of war. Strong of arm. Strong of arm. Alright, I don't remember. <laughs> so we're just gonna go grab this crystal and climb up the the statue. And we can start scouting. Alright, here we are. Is there anything here down the bottom worth collecting? Oh, these things are weak as hell. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about those. Let's just start climbing. Try and get to the top of this bad boy. Phoenix climbed past the God of War's great feet, made for grinding his enemies to dust. It's probably going to be easy to climb up the cape, actually, now that I think about it. Don't mean to get handsy, Ares. Excuse me. The statue's rippling stone displayed Ares' magnificent physical strength and brawny musculature. Doesn't hold the candle to me, my prime. This would be an awesome spot to reach 
uh, so then we can fly down and pretty much visit any place we want to. But I guess this is what these scouting areas are used for, right? Like, we could pretty much fly anywhere from here. Oh, look at that. Huh. War's den. To Mulchua's home. To Ares's imposing fortress. Massive skeletons of conquered monsters. And bottomless canyons. Leading to nowhere. Nice cell. As Phoenix surveyed the terrain from atop the God of War, he spied a beast so majestic it could be no ordinary creature. Ah, that must be my son. Not the sharpest sword in the barracks, but he'll knock Phoenix off his feet. Mark my words. Oh wow, it's very... It's very red here, hey? So there we go, everything unlocked. That's cool. So as we usually do, I might skip through this part now. I'm just going to have a look around and see if I can locate as many things as I can. Just because it makes, you know, makes finding things in the future a lot easier. So we'll do that now. Alright, so as you can see here, there's a fair amount of stuff that we've located, but I still think in the first area there's a, there was a lot more stuff laying around. This seems a little bit deserted here, I don't know, maybe I just missed a few things, but it didn't really seem like there was much more coming up, so I guess we'll take it for what it is at the moment. So it said something about this beast over here, right? So I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go defeat this beast somewhere over here, I think. Yeah, meet the majestic creature, 488 meters over that way, so... Let's fly over there and take on the first part of this area, the first mission. Here we go. Quest zone. Giants fall, okay. Oh, is that it there? That's the beast, right? to dust in my paws. Great Ares, my name is Phoenix. I'm here to defeat Typhon, and I require help from the God of War. Do you think my mighty blade is at the beck and call of anyone who asks? Don't make me laugh! <laughs> I didn't mean any disrespect. I just can't do this without you. You have exhausted my patience. Flee, mortal, before you are forced to bear witness to your own destruction. I will feast on your very liver. Mmm, your eyeballs. And last but certainly not least, your quaking, shaking little heart. <laughs> Crap. Back up! All right, the jig is up. Just get it over with. Believe me, it'll numb my pain. Just do it! What? No, no, calm down, I... Back up! Either you do the honors, or they will. Oh, so this chicken... That's the other, uh, the next thing that we have to kill, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, not kill. It's the next god we have to rescue and grab the essence for. Well, that was easy. Okay, my turn, warrior. Come now, dice me up. I'm a chicken. Pathetic clucking poultry. I'm looking for Ares. He's not. I am he! Once the mighty god of war, 
now reduced to an easily startled pile of feathers. Are you sure? Does a bear poop in the woods? Sorry. Fillet me now. Spare me this shame. But your Ares, always first to battle in your chariot. Sparta owed all its victories to you. Where is your famous pride? Your violence incarnate. I wish you were violence incarnate so this would all be over. No one gives a buck about me now. Since when does the mighty Ares care what anyone thinks? You won wars. You can take down Typhon. I mean, you must still, uh, do strategy or something. Look at me. I can't hold a sword. One back oh, on the battlefield and I'm a laughing stock. Even my love, Aphrodite, rejected me the moment she saw me. But I got Aphrodite back to her old self again. I think you might have a shot with her. Oh, so a gorgeous goddess in love with a chicken? I'm sure that's illegal. Definitely not illegal. Look, my fellow soldiers, the townspeople, my brother, they were all cursed by Typhon. They need your help. You can try pulling at my heartstrings all you want, but the reality is that this... This animal cannot help you. I'm not getting Aphrodite back, and you can't even hurt a chicken. Your brother is as good as dead. Hey. Now leave me alone to cry in peace. <laughs> Which I will also fail to do because chickens can't express emotions through tears. But just bottle them up inside. Forever. I guess I'll let Aphrodite know you've given up. What did you say? A chicken's a chicken, right? <laughs> May as well tell her you're too useless to fight. Forget your lost essence. You'll never be whole again. Fine. Tell her how worthless I am. Even if my essence would fix me, there's no way a mortal could get inside the vault. So forget it. Consider it forgotten. Uh, just out of curiosity, where would I find that vault? Right down there, covered in debris. It's impossible to uncover it. What about using that giant spear? Let's give it a shot. Bear, a little help. Stupid, conveniently placed giant spear. It's not blocked anymore, so off I go. <laughs> Fine. It's your funeral. Rest in pieces. Before you go, realistically, you have zero chance. But let's make it 0 0.1 with my blessing. Alright, cool. I almost forgot I had a uh, Blessings. Let's see what this one does. So, what did we get before? Arrows refilled twice as quick. Draw strikes up to three enemies. And bow shots can be charged even further to increase damage. What did we just get? Combo meter lasts twice as long before resetting. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Actually, that's really good when you have some bonuses associated with some sort of combo meter. Like, there's a few weapons that I picked up that, like, a little bit of health back when I when I reach a certain level on the combo meter. Well, so my boys that could be it could out. be good. He's been a disappointment since day one. Babies, such freeloaders. We haven't tamed a normal horse yet. We've got like a golden one, but we don't have a normal one. So let's see if we can walk. You know what? Can we just make ourselves invisible? Oh, hang on. There we go. Can we just walk up to these guys invisible? Is that not going to work? Oh, that does work. There we go. Another mount unlocked. Cool. I haven't been really keeping my eyes open for, for mounts. I forgot it was a thing. Because after the mount I got, let's let's check what that is actually before we move on. That's also a one. So I think we got pretty lucky with getting this this level three indica mount before. Alright, here we go. Oh well, wow. this place is massive. Vault of Ares. Vengeance will be mine. Okay, so for maybe every single person we have to get the essence from, we have to solve like some sort of puzzle, some sort of vault before we get to it. Floating Oracalcum Cubes. Activate or deactivate the floating state of Oracalcum Cubes by shooting an arrow at them or by hitting them with a melee attack. Oh, wait, I wasn't ready. Damn, I didn't re finish reading that. Okay, can I move it? Huh, I wonder if I can move it before shooting it. Okay, that didn't go to plan. What's this do? Oh, we give ourselves another one. We could sort of cheat our way up here, I guess. Hang on. We could jump up from here, maybe. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Okay, I don't think that's how you meant to do it, but I'll take it. Hmm. How is that beneficial to us? Is there something I'm missing? Are we, can we move these somehow? Oh, we can. Oh, the small ones we can move. Oh, okay. Phoenix found a statue bound by chains, bearing a strong resemblance to Cotis, the Hecatonkeres. Let me guess! The Hundred Arms were a dead giveaway! So these chains can be broken. Okay, so we're gonna break all the chains, and then defeat this bloke for the essence? Sounds like a plan. Alright, we'll start over this way. So where's the chain go up to? It goes up in there. But we have have to open that up somehow. Alright, I guess we'll head over this way. Seems promising. Okay, 
And judging by the first couple of enemies we came across in this... Whoa! How come we couldn't hang on there? That was weird. And judging by the first couple of enemies we came across in this War Dens area, I, th I still think we're pretty powerful for this area. We actually stay, we spent a fair amount of time in the first two areas, so I still don't think this is going to cause us that much of a, that much of a hassle. We'll see how these enemies are. Alright, easy peasy. So we gotta get up there, it looks like. Can we activate this? We can. Do we really even need this though? I'm not sure if we really even need anything here. I think some of sometimes it just might be for decoration. You know, it you could use it if you want, but you don't really need it. I guess we'll find out though. Alright, let's just take him out with our melee things. It's a little bit quicker. Alright, one more. There we go. Alright, that does it. Now let's, let's take a look around and see if there's any hints to how to complete this. We just climb up here? I guess we could. Oh no, we can't. That's too high. <laughs> so we have to try and get up these blocks somehow. Oh, there's someone over here as well. We can drop this. This will just... We can turn this on while we're on it, right? If we just stand on it. We can do it like that, though. Because I think right now we just got to gain some height, right? Get up to this one. Looks like there's a pressure plate over there. Hmm, 
let's go over here and click the uh, click this button first. See what happens. So we get an extra one. That also goes up to there. There's three more out here. Alright, let's bring all of these over to the area over here because we saw the pressure plate that we need to activate. So if we bring these over here, we might be able to we might be able to pull them over. Alright, if we bring them all over here, then we can just pull them over one by one to activate the pressure plate. That's the only thing I can really think of though. I'm not sure why I need so many. So I, I should be able to just pull these up now, right? Or I can pull that one across. Okay, that didn't seem too difficult. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. Let's head on, head on over to this one now. On the far side. So where does this chain go? It goes into there. Okay, we're probably going to have to do another, another horseshoe all the way around. What exactly is it about Ares that bothers you so much? I just wanted more. He starts wars, he rushes in, he's so messy. Anytime anyone prays to him, they're driven mad. He never takes out the garbage, even after Hera asks him like three times. But I've made my peace with it. We just joke around. Maybe he does all those things, except the last one, because he's trying to impress his dad. He wants you to take him seriously. Nah, he never thinks about how his bloodthirsty actions wreak havoc for everyone else. It's like he never grew up. They do say oh, well. education is the sincerest form of flattery. The sincerest form of flattery is kidnapping someone so you can get some alone time. Just ask Ganymede. Okay, what I think I was meant to do over here is I was meant to push that small one a little bit far forward. So it gives me a little bit of extra distance when I'm when I'm gliding over, but we managed to do it anyway. I'm not sure about this one though. I think what I meant to do here is pull it over. Can I pull these big ones? Oh, I can. I didn't think I could move those. Oh, what? I can shoot them into the air. Wow, okay. I can gain a lot of height by doing that. Oh, whoops. Okay, we're gonna have to... That's gonna respawn, right? But if I turn this on... And then I want to throw it... Is it going to be different? Oh, look at that. It goes in a straight line now. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, I don't have any, any stamina left. Oops. <laughs> okay, so if I pull this... Small one over. And if I throw it... Hang on. If it's there, I'm not going to make it. I have to throw it up a little bit. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I have to throw it up a little bit and then jump onto it. And that should give me enough height to get onto the next platform, but we'll see. A little bit of little bit of trial and error here. So it did just stay in the same spot. We could, might be able to jump up to that now. Maybe. It's probably safer to just pull this one over. Like that. And then we can just leave this in the air. And climb this one. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> that was close. Alright, seems good. Now, where do we have to get into? Wait, where's the chain connected to? I thought it was connected to something over here. Oh, we have to put it on that platform over there. That's where it's connected to. And all this is just completely empty space. Okay. This, this shouldn't be too difficult, but it's just going to take a while. Oh, actually, can I just throw something over there? I'm just going to throw it over there, actually. Oh. <laughs> okay. Obviously, if it hits something, it's not going to work. I'll try to do it with this. That should be alright. If we just fly over there and grab the block again. There we go. Too easy. You can't contain my fury. Now we got two more. One over there and one over there. So we'll go to this one first. Seems to be... Oh, did we miss a chest? We did, didn't we? Oh, I knew we missed the chest. Alright, let's go back and see if we can grab this chest. Because we know where we're going now. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, it's up here. It's way up the top here. Am I going to be able to climb these? I can't climb them. Which means I have to pull some boxes over to get me up. There we go. That should be enough. There we go. Oh, we got some coins of Sharon as well. Alright, now we just got to fly all the way back and continue. So where were we? We are going to get all the way over there. Oh, we can't fly through that mist. That's right. So we're going to go through here. So here we go, next area. Oh, there's the chest. So we know where the chest in this part is. You know what we gotta do? We probably have to... Probably have to throw this down to give us something to land on. I mean, if we're going to get the chest anyway. Oh, sweet. A lightning for that as well. So that did the trick. Now we got to get back somehow. Oh, we can get back over this way.
Okay, so what's the goal here? We have to open that door. Previously, there's always been a pressure plate, but I don't see any pressure plate there. There is a lock button here. And a lock button there. And a button over there. Alright, so we're probably going to go through all the buttons. So we'll head on over to the first one. Oh, it seems like we're going to be rolling balls here. Okay, we gotta put the uh, we gotta put the box in the middle so the ball can roll on top of it. Like this. Can we chuck this off the edge? It's gonna be quicker to just restart. I think it will restart by itself. Oh, or maybe not. There we go. You can't fathom the war brewing within me. So there's going to be two balls here. I'm honestly not sure if I'm meant to be able to move these big ones when I'm at this level. But I mean, it's a legitimate skill you can unlock, so I don't see why not. So there's one ball there and one ball there. And this one has to stop and go down there. And it has to fall into there. And that one has to go down there and fall into there. We want to push this. We want to sort of deflect this ball, right? So we'll move it to there. The ball will hit it and hopefully go down there. It's worth a try. We still need to move this over a little bit. Oh, we can't? So it can only be moved when we're, when we're carrying it. Alright, let's give that a try. Oh, <laughs> that ball's obviously just going to fall off. Alright, let's see if the first one worked. We can always push that down later. So that one's pretty easy. We can always force that one down later. But for now, we'll grab a second box. Okay, I understand why they give you two different options now of a big box and a small box. Because they want, to be able to, they want you to be able to complete it. Even though you haven't unlocked that skill yet. That's why they give you options. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. So that'll go down there. Okay, that one's good. We'll leave that one. We'll wait till this one comes down. If it ever comes down. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, how war will rain. The rage of the gods demands to be unleashed. Yes, it does. Okay, so he's got one more left. It's over this way. So far, so good. Okay, if I hit this, will it then be influenced by the wind? It will. Oh, you know what? I probably have to get on it for this to work. 
Because I'm not sure if I can get that high now. No, I don't think I can grab onto that. Alright, let's restart. Okay, so I have to get on it and then hit it, I think. Hit it again, and it'll come down. Hit it again, it comes over here. There we go. Yeah, this would obviously be a lot harder if I couldn't pick them up. Alright, here we go. Oh, I get it. I have to stop it. I have to stop it when it falls on the uh, on the air down the bottom. So here we go. We got to time this correctly. Uh, not quite. Um, if I hit this, it's going to float into the air though. Maybe this is good enough. Oh well. <laughs> Close. All right, here we go. We got to time it again. That's not bad, actually, because we can lift this up and get it ready. Oh, can we get this ready though? Are we going to be able to do this in time? Hmm, this might be an issue. Ah, oh, we're not. We're not going to get on it. No. Alright, we might have to start that again. Okay, I think it's easier just to let that one rise over, because I can just pick this up again. Alright, I should be able to just pick this up. Like that. Alright, I'll wait till I get on it. There we go. Okay, here we go. One more, I think. What am I talking about though? Can't I just pick this up and throw this over there and then just go grab it? <laughs> right? Can't I do that? I think that would be so much easier. Let's just see if we can just do that. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Alright. So, what are we going to do? We're just going to throw it over there? Like, over that way? Oh, wait. I have to wait for my energy. I don't see why this wouldn't work. Typhon will drown in my endless rage. Oh, I can't. I can't get it through there. Hang on, what would I have done if I did this normally? Oh, it comes over the top and then drops down. Ah, that's why it's hard. Okay, so we have to do it. That's okay. So we can't cheat the system. <laughs> we have to do it how it was intended, I think.
we go. That should be good. Alright, here we go. You can't contain me forever, Typhon! So that was everything, wasn't it? Right? That's all the chains? Broken. The grotesque statue. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. Both potions online? Let's do it. We don't have a bird yet. Not enough. Not enough energy. Now we got it. Wow, that wasn't that bad, was it? With the uh, with the potions and everything, we do so much damage now. I think we've just RPG the shit out of this game towards the start, and <laughs> now everything's like a bit of a pushover. Oh, okay. Now what? That one's locked. That one's also locked. I guess we run to the end. It seems like we might get a lightning bolt here. Or the essence, actually. True, we gotta grab the essence. Hey! will know what to do. If Ligiron wasn't turned to stone, he'd have that essence already. And probably a medal too. Phoenix, try harder. Huh, weird. Okay, it looks like we did collect everything in the vault though, so that's good. All the chests have been collected. So, uh, that is, I think, where I'm going to leave it here, guys. We pretty much did... This is a pretty big episode. We did the uh, the next vault, what I assumed would give us the essence, but apparently there's a little bit more to this quest line uh, in this War Dens area than I thought. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll continue on from here in the next episode with the main mission, and I will see you all then. So have a good day, guys, and take care.